Look at us. Look at this. We now have video for our Glee videos. We are reinventing the Glee format today. Oh my god. Instead of reviewing actual scenes, we dive right in into Glee fandoms. As they are known, Gleeks. It's literally the name of when you spit just using your spit gland. That's pretty gross, I'm not gonna lie. But we have a massive selection of Glee TikToks, which I have not seen, but Lily has seen. And we are going to analyze them. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna analyze them. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> All right, so would you like to talk about this first TikTok that we're gonna take a look at? Okay, so this is a point of view. Oh no. Um, this talks us through like the story of a really unfortunate girl. One week later, she's strapped to the bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. No. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Mr. Shoe. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm, for the first time in a Glee video, I'm at a loss for words. What went through this girl's head to put I am leaving my wife at the end? <laughs> okay, I'm already, like, done with this. I, I don't see how I can physically carry on. But for the fans, I, I shall... What have we got now? Okay, so this is uh, an extract from one of Mr. Shoe's best speeches ever. Oh, I, I am very excited. He's very inappropriate. I'm sure his speeches are going to be so riveting. It's going to be like I'm my whole worldview on Mr. Shoe is going to change like that. Shine the spotlight on the fact that those kids are minorities. Because you're all minorities. You're in the Glee Club. How many white people are in the Glee Club? A lot. Five, six, like half of them. They are not minorities just because they like to sing. Everyone likes to sing. Can you stop picking on the minorities, please? Can you stop? <laughs> Can you just stop? I'm sorry. I am sorry, but you cannot. You cannot call everyone in your class a minority because you are in the glee club that's the end of the line i'm telling mr shoe i will go and find him and i will talk about this injustice you must be really close-minded let me i'm gonna i'm gonna channel my inner mr shoe for a second and i'm just gonna rework his speech i'm very sorry for calling you all minorities but you are you are minorities because you have a hobby even though you're white, and you're white, and you're white, and the majority of us are white, and have massive amounts of privilege. No, you are a minority. And you know what? This is a really great moral for me to say. We're so inclusive. <laughs> and you're a minority. And you're a minority. <laughs> and you're a minority. You get a t-shirt that says you're a minority when you join the Glee Club. <laughs> Oh my god, that's gonna be my first piece of merch. <laughs> There's probably massive, like, very serious implications of why I definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> the next one is just um, a compilation of Artie and his wheelchair. Glee loves to have representation, but it never gets it right. Let's watch this one. Let's see. Let's see what representation they did for for Artie. Don't be shy. Put some more. Put some more. Don't be shy. Put some more. <laughs> Don't be shy. Put some more. <laughs> Don't be shy. No. Put some more. <laughs> no. No. First of all, thank you for showing me this because 
Uh, they fully had that guy jump into a pool from his wheelchair, going with his wheelchair into the swimming pool. That is a fucking death sentence for him. He's not getting out of that pool. Oh my god. It's worse. It is worse because the the actor isn't disabled. Why? Why did Glee do this? Why why does Glee feel the need to torture me every time I dive into it? Why does Glee do anything? Okay, uh would you like to explain what's next for us in this TikTok deep dive? Okay, so this is a scene from the show that I forgot existed, but let's watch it. <laughs> Wait for it. How am I supposed to support a baby? How could you not tell me about this? Wait, Brittany, are you pregnant? Definitely. I'm so sorry, Artie. I didn't want to upset you. I thought I could surprise you when I dropped him off. Pretty sure it's a boy. <laughs> what? Maybe someone could drop him off. Wait, Brittany, have you been to a doctor yet? No, that's the only way to be sure. I don't need to go to a doctor. I just need to look outside my window. <laughs> Three days ago, a stork built its nest on top of my garage. I'm not stupid. It's obviously getting ready to bring me my baby. <sighs> Lily. I, ha I have one question. Why? She said it. And reveal she was pregnant to an entire classroom full of people. Okay, surely, surely they had people to like look over the scripts and just be like, yep, yeah, that's okay. So, every single one of them, every single person on the creative team, every single actor on set that day, because it looked like there was a full cast in there. Every single, like, writer, executive producer, every single audience member who, li like, test audiences and, like, previews and stuff, they all said that was okay. Are you okay? So, let's, let's go. What's next? What's next for Glee? What's next for Glee? What's next? What's our next Glee TikTok? I want to see some proper cringe, because I want to just be destroyed completely now, and so like forcibly give up on this so please what's gonna forcibly make me give up <laughs> i'm gonna recreate that right now ha wait one second <laughs> That is the end of another Glee video. Why? Why did I submit myself to this? Just Glee fan fictions is our next video. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit like and subscribe. If you don't subscribe, Rachel Berry will come to your house and threaten you in your sleep. You don't want that.